Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Ben Danun and you're watching Israeli News Live. Here this evening in Israel, on the eve of the Holocaust Memorial, Benjamin Netanyahu spoke at a memorial service here in Israel. It was definitely the drum beats of war. And as far as my opinion, he spoke like a true king of Israel, quoting from the very Bible, the Tanakh, the Word of God, that we stand and believe, quoting from the book of Psalms as well as the Torah from the book of Numbers. Take a listen here. Yes, I love your time. Ima olam lamad leka bitalot adam. Ki ayom shuv ano umdin lifnei udot burot lifnei sakana muchashit. Iran koret haashbidenu. היא מפתחת משק גרעיני. זו הסיבה שהיא בונה בונקרים תת-קרקעיים להשארת אורניום. זו הסיבה שהיא מקימה מתקן מים כבדים להפקת פלוטונים. זו הסיבה שהיא ממשיכה לפתח טילים בין יבשתיים שיוכלו לשאת ראשי חץ גרעיניים שיאיימו על העולם כולו. כמו אז גם היום יש כאלה שמבטלים את הריטוריקה הקיצונית של איראן כנובעת מצורכי פנים. כמו אז, גם היום יש כאלה שתופסים את השאיפות הגרעיניות של איראן כנובעות מרצון טבעי של עם גאה וצריך להשלים איתו. וכמו אז, גם היום אלה שאומרים דברים אלה משלים את עצמם. הם טועים טעות היסטורית. If you go to Arut Shiva or Israel National News, you can see it as a headlines news article, and you can actually see the entire speech that the uh, Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, gave there. I have to say, though, I'm very proud of him. In fact, I posted a comment there on the very uh, article as it came out just moments ago in solidarity with him. And as I said in the article, you've spoken like King David, taking a stand. It's like the drumbeats of war is looming at, at, the, at a very near moment here in Israel. I could not help but think of Ezekiel's prophecy where God speaks about putting the hook into Gog's mouth and dragging him down into Israel. Could it be that the Prime Minister of Israel may be fishing with a very large hook? Only days from now will we know exactly what will be happening next here in Israel. I'm Stephen Ben Danun. Shalom Chavrim. I'm Stephen Ben Danun and you're watching Israeli News Live. In the background behind me is the Jordan Valley. This is the very land that America, John Kerry in particular, has been pushing along with the Palestinians to gain control of to put a United Nations force in. It is also one of the richest valleys in which Israel grows its produce and crops. Of course, if they put in, uh, a United Nations force here, Israel will no longer have the proper security to be able to protect themselves from the Jordan, Jordanians and the Syrians who are just across the border there. In fact, the mountains to the right of your screen is the country of Jordan. And that would make a great risk for the security of Israelis. Quite frankly, what should be done is that the West Bank and Gaza both should be annexed by Israel. They should become part of the regular state of Israel. It should be one state, and it should be Israel that governs the security of their own land. Just as we have one and a half million Palestinians living amongst the Jewish people today, and relatively in peace and harmony, it could be done so as well in the West Bank. Then Jews could live freely in the country that God has given them. I'm Stephen Ben Danun, reporting live to you from the Jordan Valley here in Israel. Baruch Hashem.